Hello chess friends, this is Fidel Master of Literally Wolf for chess.com and um, in our lecture today I'd like to continue our discussion on the positional operations and their importance in uh, our games. In the game which we see right here, um, of course, um, white has made a very dangerous threat. White's rook is attacking against the black pawn on d5 and it doesn't seem that black has any way to defend it. Before to begin explaining the other details of the game, uh, like uh, for instance which uh, which moves should be played and what kind of evaluation black should do, white should do, I want to tell you that this game was played by the Grandmaster George and Arthur Yusupov in the strong international tournament of S in Sarajevo in 1984. Grandmaster Yusupov as black needed a very good result at this game and as we can see after the move of to d5 maybe white is not going to achieve an immediate victory but by collecting this pawn he will take an extra pawn and certainly make a lot of upcoming problems against black's whole structure. So how to stop this? It doesn't seem that black can stop such a move. And usually what we should make in uh, similar situations where when we can stop the opponent's major idea. So what we can say about this position is that the only thing that will prevent black from losing the game is the coordination of his pieces and especially the activity that he can get. In general, as in chess, we say that there are two types of advantages. The positional advantage, which, well, the positional advantages could be many types of advantages, like from pressure to more active pieces, attack on a weak pawn or a weak piece of the opponent uh, or something to many others, as well as, uh, um, uh, for example, attack or a successful defense. So this is what we call a positional advantage. And now the material advantage is when one player has got an extra material, and this is very interesting. So practically the positional advantage is one, and the material advantage is another type of major advantage. We, every time we say that basically the material advantage is a lot more important than the positional advantage because the material advantage is something more permanent you know you can always take a piece and whatever you do if you don't give up this piece you keep that extra piece you have this is a material advantage in the positional advantage like initiative or something you need to um, keep in a really good way if you lose even one or two moves then it, it could be decisive so your opponent is gonna get a lot of a lot of threats against you and uh, uh, of course you just lose that positional advantage so the positional advantage should be kept very precisely and the material advantage actually is more permanent so we can even play more casually and it will remain <laughs> We hope you enjoyed this video demo from chess.com. Subscribe today to finish this video and get unlimited access to our full video library. Your membership also includes access to Chess Mentor, the most advanced interactive training tool available anywhere. You'll also get full access to the Opening Explorer, Tactics Trainer, and much, much more. So sign up today and get serious about improving your game.